Welcome to Sequit's training video, three term correction using the open short load calibration technique. The video shows you how to calibrate the DTDR65 assisted by the calibration wizard. The wizard can be started by pressing the magic wand from the toolbar and in this example we will carry out a differential calibration. Now, we just step forward to the next screen to select our calibration kit. Often only one cal kit is available, so you can't make any error here. Just select the cal kit and go to the next step. In principle, the software can handle two devices, but in most cases only a single device is used, so we can step this window. So at this point the cables should be connected to the device. Please pay attention to the markings of the cables. In this case the green marking is channel 1, which is the lower connector at the device, and the red marking is the differential channel, which is labeled as channel 2. So we can connect the calibration standards now, beginning with the open standard at channel 1. And short at channel 2. So normally one can tighten the standards hand tight and if you like you can finally fix them with a torque wrench as it is shown in the video. We now change the number of averages to 10, which is a proper value for calibration purpose. The other settings are left unchanged. We use 4096 data points and the repetition rate of the step signal is 10 MHz. These settings prove to be suitable for most impedance measurement applications. Finally, we are starting our first calibration measurement. As you can see, the yellow curve, which is actually channel 1, is reflected in the same direction as the incident step, because the termination is the open standard. The blue curve is channel 2 and terminated with a short. Here we can see the reflection going uh, in the opposite direction of the incident step, so everything is okay. So now the open at channel 1 is replaced with a short standard, the open is not used in the next measurement. Channel 2 is terminated with a load standard, so we have a kind of cyclic exchange of the three calibration standards. Now the channel 1's reflection is inverted and channel 2 is a straight line, which is due to the load termination, so all energy is absorbed and nothing is reflected. For the last change of calibration standards, we speed up the video a little more. And channel 1 is the flat line now and channel 2 is reflected in the same direction as the incident step due to the open. After finishing the last measurements, the calibration is done and we come to the last window. Usually it's not needed to save the calibration explicitly. We just exit the wizard at this point and the three-term calibration is stored automatically at a predefined location. The two green LEDs at the left are turned on, indicating that now the three-term correction is activated. So, thanks for watching the video about three-term correction. Thanks and bye-bye.